everyone and welcome to my video. So you've been guided to this video because you've just had your diagnosis of pulmonary hypertension. Hopefully after watching this video and from the experiences that I have gone through due to having pulmonary hypertension myself, it will help you feel a little bit more at ease. Now you're probably feeling really bad. You probably feel that the world has come crashing down around you, you don't know what to do, and you think, is there anyone there to help me through my PH journey? The answer is yes. We will help you and support you as much as we can, whether it's someone with pulmonary hypertension, the charity PHA UK, your consultants, or anyone else that's involved in this journey with you. So let us begin. I was diagnosed with pulmonary hypertension in 2008. I only had a few months prognosis, but here I am today doing this video for you and to help you through this really difficult time. So, number one, do not Google. If you have already Googled, you'll probably put the fear of life into yourself. I know I did the same. Dr. Google isn't really the best thing to do because pulmonary hypertension is so unique to each patient and online it just does an overall of the condition. So if you haven't already, please do not Google it because you will get worried. But remember that you have pulmonary hypertension and your pulmonary hypertension is unique to yourself. So don't panic if you read anything scary online. Number two, your pH specialists. There are nine pulmonary hypertension specialists in the UK and if you haven't already been referred to one of these specialists you will be attending one very soon. Now these specialists are experienced consultants in the field of pH. They will get you on the correct medication, point you into the direction of hopefully this video and to the PHA UK and they will get you up and running again very soon. So please listen to them because they know what you're going through. They will help you get back on your feet and hopefully out of hospital and doing the thing that you want to do again. Yes, there will be limits, but as your PH journey goes along, you will realise what you can do and what you can't do. And hopefully not too many things will have changed. Number three, medication. There's lots of medications for those with pulmonary hypertension now and you will find one that suits your body. You will go through a few maybe that your body doesn't really like and you'll have to say I'm really sorry but I'm not taking to these tablets. Don't panic because there will be a tablet that does suit your body. Unfortunately you may have side effects that you're not used to and you have to start taking tablets two or three times a day which again is something new to having to pH but you will get into the routine of it and there are lots of pill boxes, um, medication resources, the PHA UK, the charity, they have resources to help you with the timings of when to take the medication so please Find a way that suits you. I have an alarm on my phone to remind me to take my tablets three times a day because without it I'm pretty useless and I would forget my tablets because I never took any tablets before my diagnosis. So it was something really new. You will find something that suits your routine and you'll be able to take your tablets like it's part of your day for the rest of your life unfortunately but they will help you get you back on your feet and hopefully back to doing what you love. So please bear with this medication and you'll be able to be doing the things that you want to do. So number four, do not panic. Yes, easier said than done. I was exactly the same. I was so worried, nervous, what the future was going to hold. Am I going to die tomorrow? Is there any medication to stabilize me? But yes, there are medications, they will stabilise you, they will get you back to doing what you want to do. Don't jump to conclusions that when you see someone with pulmonary hypertension, they may be that little bit worse than you. That won't be you. You are unique to your own pulmonary hypertension. 
So everyone is different. Some take to tablets quickly, some don't. Just remember, be patient with yourself and you will soon find that pulmonary hypertension is just part of your life. You will not live with pulmonary hypertension. Pulmonary hypertension will live with you. You keep running your life like you want to and everything else will fall into place around you. So don't let pulmonary hypertension take over your life because it doesn't need to. Keep positive. I know there isn't a cure, but there is so much research going on that hopefully one day there will be a cure for pulmonary hypertension. So please keep positive, keep with it. Have your family and friends around you to support you. Tell the people that you love that you need that extra bit of support because they will be there to help you. Your life will be different now you've got pulmonary hypertension, but it doesn't have to be a negative life. It can be positive and you have to keep moving forward and looking to the future. So I really hope that this video has helped you a little bit and made you feel that little bit more at ease because here I am 10 years on talking to you now and thanks to the medication, the doctors and everyone that supports pulmonary hypertension, I'm able to do this video and hopefully bring some support to you. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video on support or pulmonary hypertension patients. Please click the next video and I'll see you there. Bye.